What it do, homies? It's your boy Dave, and I'm back today. We are here with another ERB reaction. It's time we're checking out Oprah Winfrey versus Ellen DeGeneres. Two big time talk show hosts, as well as a whole lot of things, because both of them wear a whole lot of hats. So I'm pretty sure they're about to be pulling information from God knows where, every part of their life almost. Anyways, let's go ahead and shut up and turn it up. Hey God, it's me, Ellen. Can I ask you a question? How do I tell my friend Oprah she's gonna get more whipped than Stedman? I'll make her head. More whipped than Stedman. Stedman Graham, an, an American educator. Oh, I see. More whipped, as in kind of the thing that happened while, you know, my wife. <laughs> I saw her and I got whipped immediately. I get it. I ask you a question. How do I tell my friend Oprah she's going to get more whipped than Stedman? I'll make her head spin. When it comes to rhymes, I got a pension. So battling me is your intention? I better mention. You're about to get licked by a lesbian. Okay, okay, okay. Gotta throw that mention in there, right? Okay. Own Oprah Winfrey Network. I like that, but everything you own, okay. Okay, yeah. all right. I'm here to destroy ya. So check under your seat because I got something for ya. I'ma tell you, man. I distinctively remember, I believe, the first time that she did this, and she rewarded everybody. I believe it's with a car. I can't remember what kind of car it was. Was it a Camry or something like that? And I just remember that whole entire week, my mother and a couple of other people that was watching it that I knew of just absolutely wishing that they were there because I don't think something like that has been done before. And the only person that could do something like that was probably Oprah with the uh, uh, vast amount of resources she had because she was quite successful before she even started her Oprah Winfrey TV show. So, all right, not really not much of a bar, but that was like a significant moment, I think, in TV history. Here to destroy ya. So check under your seat because I got something for ya. You can't even hope to be as half as dope as Oprah. I'll attract my hands around your throat and Deepak choke ya. Deepak. That's capitalized. So let's find out what they mean by that. Deepak Chopra. A book of meditation that will help you achieve new dimensions of stress-free living. Hmm. I mean, I got the definition right here in front of me, but I don't get the bar. You guys let me know. Forwards or backwards? H A har har harp harp Oprah backwards? H A R P H H A R P O Harpo. Uh, isn't that the name of a gaming company? Harpo Productions, American multimedia production company founded by Oprah. Oh, that was a nice bar. I wouldn't have gotten that one. I did not know that. Yeah, Harpo Productions. That's fire. Okay. I also feature puppies, talented children, and mittens. I like cute things that make people smile. Make everybody feel good for a while. Do a little dance and the crowd goes wild. Get you right back to the miracle mile. I thought I told you, your daytime reign is over. I'm jumping over, over like I'm Tom Cruise on a sofa. From ABC to LGBT, NBC <laughs> and now it's for me. The best MC and the biggest star. And I'll fight you in the ass like the tax on a free car. You're about to 
Okay, so Ellen was coming through with the heat. I mean, she would actually, she wasn't even coming through with the heat. You know, she was, most of what she said was just, eh, NBC, she features all these things. Tom Cruise on a sofa. I'm guessing that's something that happened on her show and everything. It was pretty mild, but that tax free, that tax on a free car, right? The car was free, but it wasn't taxed. So I imagine, you know, once people got those free cars and it was hitting that tax bill, they say, oh no, <laughs> return that. <laughs> I didn't think about that actually. That's a fire bar. All right, hold on. There was a bar in there where she said secondhand Porsche. P O R S. I know Porsche is like a car, but I'm trying to figure out what that relation is to Ellen. Secondhand Porsche. P O R S H E E L L E N. Ellen DeGeneres. Uh, Porsche de Rossi. Oh, secondhand Porsche. It's Ellen's, not the spout, married 2008. No, 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 yeah. Oh, wow. Secondhand Porsche. Portia de Rossi. I feel like there's another thing here that I missed as well. So check the Fortune. Oh, check the Fortune 500, okay. Because before um, Bill Cosby was the African American, he was the only African American in the Forbes. She, she said Fortune 500. Well, I'm guessing the Forbes 500 and until Oprah Winfrey got up there. See, she flexing. She flexing. I don't think Ellen came. I don't think I don't think her bars was hitting that much, right? She was a little bit too positive for this to be a rap battle, right? The kittens and mittens talking more about it, but didn't spend too much time dissing Oprah. Now, Oprah's flexing right here, but she's also dissing her, especially with that secondhand Porsche. Not the car. You, okay. If I'm understanding that correctly, that's a diss on uh, Ellen's uh, spouse. So I got Oprah winning this. Let me make sure I'm not missing nothing here at the end. Sometimes, you know. All right. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, so I got an Oprah winning this. You guys let me know who y'all thought won this down in the comments. That's the end of this video. If you enjoyed the content, leave a like and subscribe. Dave's out.